uh, read like. <clears throat> Just gonna take a look at this explosive samurai build. Yeah, let's jump straight into it. Once again, we got the water katana, melee damage, ultimate damage, and water master. So you can see across the board, I've got a lot of melee damage going on. Um, this is just because I want to be just putting out as much damage as possible. Um, and the samurai, you know, you're kind of getting into combat quite a lot. So this is just really helpful. Let's take a look. And we got ultimate damage and water master. So surgeon strikes each hit is doing more damage. Uh, we're going to be using the ultimate to destroy enemies on this one. So always good to have the ultimate damage on there you can try try get a, a big percentage you can see it goes up to 20 percent and i'm on 19.8 so that's, that's a lot uh the bow it doesn't really matter what bow you use i just tend to use any bow i've got uh something with range resolve gain on i was just trying to get my key up to 110 so i just whacked this bow on but yeah you, you can use any bow you want really it doesn't really matter that much i would just recommend putting range resolve gain on uh you can try get some some uh, shots with the bow off when the, the enemies are coming towards the point. Just fill up your resolve a little bit more. All right, we got Samurai Charm with melee damage and ultimate damage again. Uh, same re reasons as the Katana. You know, we just want to buff up that melee damage uh, and the ultimate damage and Bless Strikes. So Bless Strikes is super important because we are using the um, technique point for Explosive Blade. Um, so what this is going to be, this is going to be our main form of healing. So when we activate uh, bless, uh, sorry, Explosive Blade, whenever we get a hit um, on an enemy, we're going to get healed. Um, I'll chuck in a little clip here to show you the healing uh, that is possible with Bless Strikes. Hey, look at how much healing we just got there. Okay, and then we've got the Spirit Kunai. So the reason we're using Spirit Kunai, um, as you can see, the legendary perk there, lowers all our cooldowns by 15 seconds if we get a kill. So this is going to be super important for refreshing the cooldown of the Explosive Blade, which is our main form of healing. So we want to be picking off enemies with these Kunai and just getting our Explosive Blade back as soon as possible. If you get two kills with this Kunai, it's going to refresh the Kunai all the way. And I think the, the cooldown for the Explosive Blade is actually um, 36 seconds. So, you know, there's 30 seconds already if you get two kills. I mean, you just got six. By the time we've got two kills, it's probably going to refresh instantly. You've got your healing back straight away there. Just activate the Explosive Blade and get a few hits again. And then, last but not least, we've got the Healing Gourd. Um... This is just out of preference. You can go for anything you want, but I recommend the healing gourd just because of the injured resolve gain. Um, so when we get hit, we're going to be getting resolve back super fast. And the injured resolve gain is actually probably the, the best way of getting resolve. I mean, obviously you don't want to be getting hit too much, but when you do get hit, this is just going to fill it up super quick. Got damage reduction just for a bit of survivability and then strong brew. Uh, so healing's increased by 50%. If you wanted to, you could go Sudden Resolve. Um, I just go Strong Brew just for that little bit more survivability. You know, if I'm in, haven't got my Explosive Blade refreshed, the Kunai is not, not cool down. Um, and I can just put this out and, you know, it's just a little bit more health than usual. Uh, so I might be saved in some sticky situations. And let's go on to the techniques. So obviously we've got Explosive Blade. As I said, this is just going to be a huge output of damage. we got... If we look at the, the stats, so melee damage, we've got at least 12. Ah, oh, I should have worked this out before. Let's just say 10, 10, and 12, so 32%. Uh, extra melee damage there. And then we got the explosive blade on top of that doing even more damage. And also deep strikes. So you got 42% um, extra melee damage. And then explosive blade on top of that, you're going to be wrecking enemies left, right, and center. If you want to, you can go Defender just for a bit more survivability. If you're not too confident playing the build and being aggressive and you're worried about dying, just whack this one on. You know, 10% is not going to make a massive difference. Um, but you can just, just use this to keep yourself alive a little bit longer if you're, you're struggling a little bit. I've went with Resolve Increase. You can go with Parry Income and Arrows whilst blocking, but just not for me. I don't see the point in Critical Defense. I mean, I don't want to be at low health ever, so... I mean, this just seems a bit pointless to me. 
and if I am at low health, then I'll I'll kind of be dodging around and waiting for my explosive blade to refresh. And if I've got the kunai, I can get the kunai off. You know, I got my healing gourd to get get out of low health. But yeah, I just went for max resolve. If you can fill it up, you know, you have just got that one ready or to go when you you've used your ultimate. And then obviously we got Hatchman's frenzy because we're doing a lot of damage with the ultimate. We want those two extra strikes. Uh, you can go double legendary if you wanted to do double legendary. I'd recommend going like Masamune's Edge on the on the katana because you've got a twenty percent chance to deal double damage. So at the minute we've got one hundred and forty percent melee damage. You know, double that up, two hundred eighty uh, percent damage on a on a hit is going to be huge, especially if this procs off the um, ultimate strike. If you if you manage to get that, you can take out enemies in the blink of an eye with the the big health bars. But yeah, it's a really fun build to play. So as I say, you want to be making sure you get the kills with the Spirit Kunai, refreshing that um, Explosive Blade, and because we've got Blessed Strikes on, that's going to be your main form of healing. Get your ultimate damage off. we got plenty melee damage, so we're doing a ton of DPS. And yeah, it's just all-round survivability. You should should be, I don't know, if you're playing well, you know, you might, you might have like three or four downs. Um, depends if you're playing Nightmare and the arrows get you. But yeah, it's it's got a huge, huge amount of survivability on this one. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've got any recommendations of things I could change or whether you want to try out the build and how it goes. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy it.